when you launch your PER recording tool for the first time from your MyACCA portal. You'll be presented with a strict liability clause that you must agree to, before you'll be permitted to use the PER recording tool. This clause is a declaration of your integrity, and confirms that all information that you record within the tool is a true and accurate reflection of your own personal work. Once this agreement is confirmed, the PER dashboard will be presented. This screen is split into two clear sections, employment and performance objectives. Both sections have a pie chart visual, which quickly gives an overview of areas completed to date. We can see here in our example, that our future member has recorded three months practical experience and has not yet completed any of the performance objectives. Let's first look at the time they've recorded. To see further information, click the View Employment button. You can then view further details by clicking on the employer name. Here we can see the details our future member has entered, including Job title The start date of their employment The end date if applicable the average hours per week they work in this role. The percentage of relevance this role has towards their PER. If it's an ACCA approved employer. If this is an audit role. If this is a lecturing role. These details can be edited by clicking on the edit this role button or the role can be deleted by clicking the delete this role button. A role can only be deleted if there is no supervisor link to it otherwise it can only be edited. As we scroll down, we can see that our future member has indicated that they work for an ACCA approved employer, so, they are being prompted to download the approved employer PER confirmation form to complete. We can also see the option to add a new supervisor. If they'd already added a supervisor, their supervisor's name would be visible here. A new record of employment can be added by clicking the Add New Employer button and entering the details as prompted. So, now that we've had an overview of the employment section of the PER recording tool, let's return back to our dashboard and now we'll take a look at the performance objectives area. To access more information about the performance objectives, click View Objectives. You're required to complete nine performance objectives in total. 5 essentials and 4 technical from any of the 17 technical objectives listed. Let's take a closer look now at what's needed to complete a performance objective. In this example, let's look at the first objective. You can view further details by clicking the title of the objective. All the performance objectives are made up of a description, 5 elements and a statement. For each performance objective, the following needs to be completed. Review the overall description of the performance objective. Review the five mandatory elements and achieve these in the workplace. Write a 200 to 500 word statement describing your experience. Have the performance objective reviewed and signed off by a supervisor. On the additional tabs, you'll find examples of activities that will support the achievement of the objective, as well as which exams this objective is linked to. Let me explain further support features from your My Experience ribbon bar and how these can help you. Along the top of the screen, you'll find the ribbon bar. The home button will take you back to the dashboard. Help will take you to a wealth of guidance, step-by-step -step guides, videos and webinars and you can quickly access employment and the objectives sections here as well. Claim time is where you'll submit your time to be approved by a supervisor. Thanks for watching.